Before we start, I want you to ponder this short statement about positive education. And as you do, I give you a challenge. Count how many F's there are in the statement. So how many F's did you spot? Perhaps like many, you spotted the first three most obvious F's. Maybe you missed a few others along the way. There are in fact seven F's in total in that statement. Now each of us, when we come to teach wellbeing, bring some experience and knowledge of our own. We all have some F's, if you like, to bring. When Martin Seligman became president of the American Psychological Association in 1998, he took on the mission of trying to identify what are the contributing elements to create a successful or a flourishing life. Over the past 20 years, he's refined his theory along with others to come up with this concept of PERMA. It is PERMA that underpins our positive education curriculum and our teaching of well-being. So what does PERMA stand for? Well, the P stands for positive emotion. Things like gratitude, joy, interest and hope. The E, engagement. The concept of flow, being fully absorbed in an activity. Losing track of time, just being so in the zone that you just are totally taken away with what you're doing. The R, relationships. Now this is the key to all of the other elements. The one predictor which has been shown time and time again to, to determine a flourishing life has been this one, positive relationships. The late Chris Peterson, one of the founders of positive psychology, summed up positive psychology in the words, other people. Very little that's satisfying in life is solitary. The P stands for purpose, purpose or meaning. So that's belonging to and perhaps serving something which you consider to be greater or bigger than yourself. Connections and relationships bring meaning to life and to be serving something else which is bigger than yourself means you must be involved with other people. Accomplishment stands uh, is the A. Pursuing mastery and accomplishment of, of, of a task for its own sake. Not necessarily to be the best, but for you to feel that you have improved and got better at something. All of the elements of PERMA are measurable. And behind each of these elements are scientifically validated practices and procedures, methods if you like, ways of helping to develop these elements in individuals' lives. They're teachable. They're things that people can learn. We can all learn to teach and to put into practice these elements to go from not just surviving, but thriving. We can help our young people, the people that we teach, to gain the tools and the ability to thrive in life. So when difficulties come, they know how best to survive those and to come through the other side better equipped and stronger. PERMA. If you want to find out more about it, I can recommend uh, Martin Sagelman's book, Flourish, and also very much would encourage you to listen to the Cambridge University Press Talk by British educational psychologist Simon Ward. Very entertaining and very thought-provoking. Dive deeper. Enjoy. Enjoy.